Hi everybody, welcome to the Father and Son Watch Show. My name is John, this is my son Elliot. Hi. We're outside today, we're going to talk about a topic that Elliot thought of the other day. What's the topic, Elliot? If you could only have one watch, which one would it be? Right, and you know, when you're in watch collecting for a while, you know, you usually have at least a couple watches that you wear, maybe more than that. Some people have quite a few to choose from, and it's hard to kind of decide, but it's a good topic to think about, like if you could only have one watch. What would you wear? Why would you wear it? Would you wear it the way it looks, what it can do, memories associated with it? You know, why? So if you want to like and subscribe, and then after we're done, if you want to go ahead and tell us what, what you would pick, uh, what kind of watch it is, uh, the reason for picking it, and any questions you have for us to follow up on our collection. All right, we'll go ahead and turn it around and check out these watches and make our decisions. All right, here's one of our watches. Um, this is my Steel Dive. I re recently purchased it, and I have been wearing it almost nonstop. It's in the honeymoon phase, but I like everything about it. We're going to do a separate video on this yeah. uh, to review it. But this is one of my three watches that I will choose from to see which one I would wear if I had to. This one's a pretty nice one. And now we're going to see what Elliot's wearing today on his wrist. Remember my G-Shock? Uh, I forget the number, but it's, it's a real, it, it was re really reasonable too. I mean, like, I mean, like, I got it, like, at Christmas, but it's still like, kind of in the honeymoon phase, because it's, like, I don't know, it's, like, really cool and really nice. Yeah, I think you wear that the most. Yeah, this is definitely the most. Okay, very wear. good. Well, let's uh, put this with our contenders for the one watch we'd pick for the rest of our All life. All right, here's the contenders for Elliot's favorite watch. we got the G-Shock. We've got a Casio Forester. And then we all, which we also did a review on, and then the Tough Solar we recently did a review well, on. Well, two, kind of. Oh, right, we did kind of do two reviews on Because we didn't want to get the G-Shock and the Tough Solar That's recently. Right. That's right. So these are your three favorite watches. Yes. Well, if I get, I would pick all of my watches if I could. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these are, I had to narrow it down to these. Okay, and so which watch would you eliminate first? Working your way down to your watch that you would keep. Okay, I mean, the Tough Solar is one of my favorite watches. I, I really like it because, I don't know, I think it's really cool. Because uh, it has like 100 meters and everything. But I think that would be one of my first ones. I would... Okay, so that would be out of the running. I, I still really like it though. Oh man, now we're back down to our watch battle like we had in our last <laughs> video with these two bad boys. So which one of these would you pick for the only watch you could ever have? Okay, I mean... I mean, I would be spending a little bit more on this guy because this guy's solar, but I think I'd do the G-Shock just because it's more durable. I can do anything 200 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't this 200 meters too? Uh, That one's 100 meters. Oh. Yeah, that one's 100 meters. But yeah, I think I'd do the G-Shock because it's just more durable. I mean, of course, I'd be uh, happier if it was solar, but... Right. And it's a little bit smaller, so you'd probably wear it in a little bit more places. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good choice. I really like that. All right, so here's my three favorite watches. We have the Steel Dive and the, the Wrist Shot. We have a Seiko 5 that I wear a lot. I really like yeah. it. And then my grandpa's uh, 1972 Bulova AC Clipper. Clipper. Yeah. And so of all these watches, you know, this one, I like it because it's a very dressy, tough watch, 200 meters water resistance. Of course, I love my grandpa's watch, and then Seiko is my favorite brand. And actually, this was my first Seiko that I ever um, purchased on my own, and I, I do wear it for a lot of things. Was it all together, your first Seiko? Yeah, it was all together my first Seiko, that's right. So I would have to say, unfortunately, as much as I love Seiko, this one would have to be the first one to go. <gasps> no! I know, I love it. And then between these two, man, it's hard because... This one's kind of my almost go anywhere, do anything watch. I mean, because you can wear Sapphire it sporty. Crystal. Sapphire crystal, 200 meters water resistance, very classy looking, stainless steel. I could wear it to dress up. Um, I could wear it for almost anything. However, my grandpa's vintage 1972 AC Clipper Bulova, that would be the one that I would keep as the Woo! only watch. And it would be, not only do I like the way it looks, but of course sentimental value. My grandpa wore this probably quite a bit, and then my dad gave it to me, and then my dad recently passed away last year. So I definitely would pick the sentimental Bulova, 
it's automatic and it runs great i had it serviced and yeah i would definitely wear it of course i would not wear it swimming um, i couldn't take it anywhere but if i only could have one watch because of my dad and my grandpa it would be that one okay i have a question though sure if this one like let's say it wasn't your grandpa's would you still pick it uh if it wasn't no i probably wouldn't that's a great question elliot if it wasn't my grandpa's or my dad's it'd probably still be one of my favorites i love bolivar yeah but in that case elliot it would be this one so i have a runner-up that's right that is the runner-up and then this is a very close runner-up so yeah, yeah. I, I don't know i mean i like this steel duck it's just like i i would rather go for like a more known brand like seiko mm -hmm. seiko is like one of my favorite brands other than casio mm -hmm. and the, but yeah i do like the bolivar yep means a lot to us being from uh our family and just being passed down and someday elliot will get this watch too yeah. All right, so there's the watches that we would pick for our one watch that we could have the rest of our lives. And, and a lot of people, that's what they, they want to do is they want to just have one watch they can wear anywhere or that means a lot to them. And that's all they're going to wear, and that's awesome. Like our mom. Well, yeah, like my wife, yeah. <laughs> She's got one watch that she'll wear. And honestly, I love collecting watches, but sometimes I do think, hey, which watches do I like the best? Which one do I wear the, the most? And then for... A few days, I think, oh, this might be my only watch that I'm going to wear. Yeah. Yeah. So, Elliot, is there a watch out there that instead of your G-Shock, you would pick as your one and only watch forever that you haven't been able to try on or you haven't um, been able to receive yet? Okay. It would either be a Grand Seiko mm. or, uh, well, there's three. Mm -hmm. A Grand Seiko uh reverso mm -hmm. I, I is it IWC? jlc oh jlc mm -hmm. reverso but i think the one that would win is it another g-shock but it's like that one that's like yellow and then it, it can track a bunch of stuff it's just like really real it's like it's one of their most expensive watches but it's really durable right it's durable and you like the tracking part of it yeah i like yeah. all that stuff on it. yeah you know i think for me i'm i'm pretty content i mean if i ever had a chance at a Grand Seiko that that's kind of like a watch that I really like watch. but I still you know if that was my only watch I'd still would keep my grandpa's watch yeah and if I had to pick between something like that and my grandpa's watch it would be grandpa grandpa would win every time <laughs> yeah all right well go ahead and uh like and subscribe and make sure you put in the comments what would be your watch out of your whole collection whether it's two watches whoa excuse me technical problems whether it's two watches or 20 watches which watch would you pick as your only watch that you'd have forever Pow. yep yep this is it all right everybody well god bless and keep on ticking